comment, I missed something. Why is everyone trying to convince you that divorce would be the right choice? You're already committed to a divorce, right? Original poster, they are working towards a separation, yes. But it's not done until it is done so he came seeking support and continued advice. And he received continued overwhelming support. Comment, why a separation and not a divorce? If she is in the affair fog and hopeful for a relationship with the arm, she may be more amenable to favorable divorce terms. Doesn't sound like she is wife material or remorseful in any way, so why wait? The sooner you divorce the sooner you can heal and move on. Original poster, wrong term. They are working on being done. He doesn't want to get into legal specifics any further until it's all finished. In his despair he didn't pick what he would call the least obvious username. Comment, she took two things from you, and Google these. Psychology personal agency, she took openness away from you, she took truth away. Basically, by lying to you, she robbed you of your ability to make clear, informed decisions about your life and its direction. Psychology personal narrative, this is the story you have of how you got to where you are. By lying to you, betraying and deceiving, she took and broke your personal narrative. When this happens, people are hugely unsettled. They have to rebuild a personal narrative while processing the betrayal at the same time. These are the types of traumas that can easily result in PTSD. Look yourself in the mirror and start saying out loud all of the things that she's done. 1. Broke your personal narrative. 2. Took your agency. 3. Cheated, lied, deceived. Then think about what you'd tell a friend who came to you with the same story. What advice would you give? Original poster, those terms are new to him and helpful for understanding his current situation. Well, he found a counselor so that is good. Took a lot of calls to get a call back even. Televised set for Friday to get started. Hopefully it's beneficial. Well, curiosity got the best of him, so he checked the same email. She is still sending the guy lewd photos. Must have forgotten to delete one from her sent folder. No surprise, but he guesses reinforcement is good at this point. Comment, sorry you have to go through that. I'm sure it's still painful even though it confirms you are on the right track. Original poster, if he had listened to everyone here, he'd have already been complete no contact and a bit further down the road. Instead, he's still spending time doing this. But yes, good information to know, bad information to see. Comment, she doesn't sound like much of a wife. Original poster, she's either the best liar he ever met or something really shifted internally in the relatively recent past. Thanks for all the support. He's reaching out to family and friends who have been great. But they are all as shocked and disgusted as him and don't have the experience of the great group here. That dot 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 fits pretty well. Looking back, he had ignored a lack of depth. He figured it would come when they got closer. But that flower never blossomed. Everything was always surface level. Which was his biggest problem with the relationship they had. Comment, it was actually the reason I believe they didn't argue much. Original poster, light bulb went off in his head for this one. It also explains a lot of other behaviors. Weird, repressed tantrums when he tried to get her to do something she didn't want to and oh, yes, the mess is everywhere. The only difference halftime is that his wayward wife wore her happy face all the time. It took a long time to realize there was so little expression of other emotion there. It means she was happy right. Why ruin it? It also sounds like she intended to run around behind his back for as long as possible. And for all he knows that was going on for many months as she was back at that employer late last year. But he will try not to think about that. Anyways, wayward wife came over today to pick up some more property. They did talk briefly. She admitted that she's been done since early this year and honestly, looking back he don't blame her for being unhappy in the relationship itself. The lack of children thing really pushed them apart. And he was withdrawing. She did also make some comments alluding to the lack of butterflies and sparks in their relationship of late. This led him to believe she doesn't understand what a long-term marriage entail. The ups and downs. The work required. She wanted the 40-year honeymoon she was promised by the media. So, in this sense it was probably doomed no matter what he did. Trying to maintain that level of infatuation long term is exhausting, impossible, or both. And obviously she took a real shitty way out of the situation, a nasty side which would have shown up in other ways in the future. Personally, he has come up with a lot of information about what he could have done better. He only hopes he can internalize it because a lot of it is long running. And he thinks he have developed some stress trauma from this. One of the images sent to Om was paired with a response that he reads still thinking about you and eventually lined up to the day of the admitted sexual activity. He knows there have to be more, but this one he knows of and with all the pieces together it is burned into his mind. Her sitting on their couch, taking this picture after having done what she did then crawling into bed with him. Meanwhile he thinks it's any other day. The image inserts itself into his mind without any warning. Comment, you seem to still want this to be your fault. Why? You could never fix her and the next one won't either. You should wake up to reality now. Original poster. He felt that he has a majority of fault for the relationship status, and he still believed that. Maybe that will change in time but, with respect, that story is not on this board, so you don't know anything of it. He does not believe that her terrible actions were in any way appropriate, justified, or in any way his fault, nor that the final failure of the relationship was his fault. Those decisions are hers alone. 
he's referencing solely on his locus of control, his action or lack of action. Said another way, his actions did not justify the response or end of relationship in his opinion, but there were poor choices resulting from his own mental health problems. Point is, he's mentally separating the infidelity from the relationship issues up to that failure point, whenever it was, and thinking hard on how he can be a better, less critical person. Ironically, that criticism, which it was sometimes directed at her, is directed at himself currently. But he doesn't think anyone on here can opine on the relationship as a whole. Well, he received an odd message from wayward wife that made him wonder how deep the emotional IQ issues go. Without getting too specific let's just say they have a shared account for a service with a rewards program. And the email is still in her name so when you use the service it sends the info to said email. Friday afternoon he used this service. And some 30 minutes later he gets a three-word message from wayward wife basically saying to enjoy it. WTF. It was the kind of message he'd expect from his wife if she were on a girl's vacation or some other personal event and saw the message. Like hey have fun while he's gone. Not shortly after she was discovered having an affair and a few days after telling him she had been done with the marriage for months and failing to deny the affair had ended. He did respond once to confirm it wasn't a financial issue dot 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 but that was it. He doesn't think she is bitter or messing with me. So, he can only figure it as a level of disconnectedness he cannot even fathom. Thoughts? Another contact from wayward wife yesterday. Long story short she's trying to cut herself off from a family member entirely because she's unwilling to do anything but float around in fantasy land. Never mind the pain she caused to two families. This request involved him logistically. If the initial action didn't hurt enough the complete lack of remorse is a continued reminder. She has also cut contact with mutual friends to avoid any addressing of her actions. Anyone she cannot entirely dictate the narrative to is out. Working him hardest to stay no contact save for the required items. First draft of docs supposed to be ready this week. Comment. Next time she will lose everyone close to her except for her new old guy. Original poster, he will hope and dream that this level of cosmic justice exists. But she began surrounding herself with bad influences from her various employment some time ago. Questionable enough that they may have even encouraged this behavior. But it's moot now. She will give them her narrative like he said above, and he thinks she will work to cut out anyone who she cannot give this story to. She seems to have little problem closing doors if it allows her to avoid confronting her feelings or issues. Anyone from her old life other than siblings and close family will be removed and she will move forward with her yes men. Comment. It's better like this than a phony reconciliation effort. Original poster, this is very true. Having a second divorce day after having wasted additional months or years has to be just as devastating as the first, if not more so. He just cleared his work calendar of tasks and realized he have made it through July. The days are still full of pain and heartache but dot 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 one step at a time. July 2021. The indisputable worst month of his life. Hopefully that crown is never usurped. He also noticed that whenever he sees a date his mind now jumps to either. BC, before cheating. Or, add, after divorce day. Update. Paperwork seems to be progressing. We'll know with certainty soon. He found a good video on heartbreak that has helped set his mind in the right direction relative to the loss of a relationship. The forum won't allow links but Google how to fix a broken heart guy winch. Negative progress in getting over the distress of the affair. The images are still in his mind and, of course, he checked again for some reason. The images are getting more vulgar and further imply the activities taking place. Now he has a new thought, image burned into his head. Poor decision. Regardless of what seems clear, obvious there is still something so distressful in seeing the woman who was your wife a month ago turned into a dumb w-h-o-r-e and the continued lack of a care towards her ex of a dozen years. He's maintaining efforts to improve and entertain himself. Physically he's doing okay. Mentally, he remains a shell. Looking forward to getting things signed and property moved is the next step. Comment. The decision to divorce is twofold but the process of divorce is one single factor. Deciding to divorce is the decision to end an emotional entanglement and change the very nature of a relationship. You change it from one that should be based on mutual love, respect, desire, goals, to something that is totally different. If you have kids then hopefully one of enough respect to successfully co-parent, but mainly indifference. It's also the end of expectations. Expectations like mutual financial accountability, fidelity, communications, cohabiting. You reached that decision long ago, even before you filed. That decision was the first step, the step that then made you file. The other decision of divorce is the purely business one. The division of assets, debts and so on. You have fired your wife from the role of wife. What's going on now is a bit like some severance time before you can finally remove her name tag, pack her coffee jug and put whatever she left at her desk in a box to have delivered to her. Just like you might fire an employee that is constantly late to work. Going over her photos and being frustrated and hurt by what she's doing, when all she is doing is what you expected her to do based on her recent actions. Well, that's a lot like driving past the former employee's house every morning and being all bothered because his car is still outside, and he is probably late at his new job. The job you have nothing to do or say about. Stop pain shopping. 
What you are dealing with is hard enough without it. Original poster, thanks for the realignment. Weekly update, falling off the positive train this week. Six so he can't exercise, work is imploding unrelated to marital issues, and Wei Ward is over 3x this week collecting things, so he keeps having to see her. She brought their dog over Monday who she is keeping so he said goodbye to him. Seeing her is some real invasion of the body snatcher's shit. The physical form is all that remains of the person he knew. If, at any period, he gets past those issues he starts thinking about his future and cannot manage any positive thoughts yet. He was mostly happy in his personal life, hobbies, fitness, friends divided by etc. Prior to this so work on yourself only takes him so far, but he is trying. Past that he can't imagine finding someone who's a better fit for him than the person she was to him for many years. Obviously who she is now is no high bar. He knows there's no magic bullets or hidden answers. Just trying to hang on. The legal side of things continues to progress. Hello. Still here. 56 days and counting. He feels he's finally past the initial shock phase and in an intermediary phase between finding the new him and releasing the old him. Logistically way ward wife's items need to be removed from the property. He thought this would already be done, but still do not know when that is, as she is not volunteering the info and he's not reaching out to ask her. The final legal date is nearing. She sent one more ho-hum nothing is wrong type message, which he ignored. Haven't heard back since. Not talking to her at all has improved his mental health notably. If at all possible, he intends to be absent during the final property pickup. Excluding the past 55 days, today is the saddest day in his life dot 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 and so it will be for days 57, 58, 59. He looks forward to the day it finally is not. But it's a large pit to climb out of. Many thanks again to the forum and its members for being a primary driver and what success he has had to date. Well, that's it. Officially divorced as of this morning. A quick Zoom call and their agreement was confirmed. Paperwork pens from the court, but only for formality to his understanding. He finds himself wondering what combination of wayward wife actually feeling bad, wanting out quickly, or being in her fog contributed to this quick resolution. He supposes she never directly desired to hurt him, only acted selfishly and without any consideration for the result. Regardless, he won't complain after reading other stories on here and will do his best to count his blessings. 81 days from divorce day to legal split. Having never combined finances they both effectively took what was theirs, split what was shared, and parted ways. He did lose the dog in the process, which saddens him, but he's not in a great position to care for him solo anyway so it's for the best. Once he feels fully healed, he hopes he can return the favor of his knowledge gained to this board. Things could have gone much worse in multiple venues if not for the guidance received. Despite the clear direction of fear collapsed marriage and disgusting betrayal he longed for control. He wanted her to give him the choice on reconciling or not. Their contact continues and he have every reason to believe that the affair does too. So, at the guidance of everyone here he has begun separation. He thinks, on his own, he would have tried harder to save the marriage which would have been foolish in the face of the signs. She cheated, she left, she began collecting her things, separating out the assets she wanted and living her normal life with a smile on her face. Despite all this she told him she wasn't sure what she wanted. She told him she was sorry, she acted without remorse. He has been listening to a help book that divides responses to these life traumas as angry, sad and withdrawn. But he has come to learn, in talking to her mother how withdrawn she really is. The mother knows so little about her own daughter and is as shocked as him. From what he knows about their checkered past he does believe this is the truth. Looking forward, he can only hope that she will give him the clean split she promised. Of course, he has no reason to believe anything she promises but, a boy can dream. He's doing his best to mentally and legally prepare for a shift in her claim. He slept more than three hours for the first time since divorce day but had nightmares about wayward wife betrayal. He was also not sad for part of last night and almost let himself believe that was fading. He thinks he was literally out of emotional energy, something he didn't know he could experience. And he broke down again writing this post. He will be looking for a support group and starting therapy, also reaching out to all the friends he lost touch with over the years. He can tell already that the hardest part of this for his long term will be the immense hole in his romantic life. He was never the stereotypical guy and hated everything about dating in his early 20 seconds. Never thought he'd have to take the whiteout to that life goals checkbox. He understands the recommended direction is to find yourself again. And he will try but he is being honest about what will be hardest for him. He also knows that support from friends and family will fade in some ways. They will run out of things to say and neither side will want to keep rehashing the past and they will hit a maintenance phase, which is when he expects the loneliness to set in hard. He's sure he'll update more. Thanks all. Thank you. Needed to hear this right now. He went to visit a friend and had a amount to drink. The pain was away for an hour or two, but wow did it come back in force. He didn't think this small of an amount would hit him like that. 